Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip um, explains how it works from questions that about perimeter that you might see on the ASVAB. So if a rectangular swimming pool has a perimeter of 224 feet and is 19 feet wide, the area is, well the perimeter is the all the way around. And so if we know that uh, it's 19 feet wide, we know that we have two lengths of 19 that need to be subtracted from the perimeter. And all the way around is 224. So if I take my 224 and I subtract 19 twice, well, 19 times 2 is 38. So if I subtract 38, 14 take away 8 is 6. 21 take away 3 is 18. So 186 feet are left for the length. So two lengths equals 186. So the length is equal to 93 feet. So to find the area of that thing, we know that we take the length times the width, so it'll be 93 times 19. That turns out to be 1,767 square feet. That's the area. If the length between point A and C is 36, so let's label what we know. 36. And the length between A and B is 17. The length between B and C is what? So that's the one we don't know. Well, we could say it's 36 minus 17, and 16 take away 7 is 9, so 36 take away 17 is 19. What is the perimeter of a triangle in the provided diagram? So A is 7.1, B is 9.7. You can see this is not drawn to scale. Um, C is 8.7. Okay, so the perimeter is all the way around, so we do 8.7 plus 7.1. That gives us 8 and 7 is 15. So let's... Let's add, we've added our, oh, we need to add our 9.7, 8 and 7 is 15, carry the 1, 10 and 5 is 15, so the perimeter is 25.5, all the way around. If a circle has a radius of 19 feet, the circumference is about what? So the radius is that, and that's going to be 19. Well, the circumference is defined as 2 times the radius times pi. So that turns out to be 2 times 19 times pi. So that is 38 pi, which is about 38 times Three. 38 times 3 would be 114, 114. If we go ahead and multiply, it's 38 times, well, let's say 3.14 is even closer. Let's see what that is. That equals 119. So the difference there is 5. And since the number is greater than 100, this would be within 5%. But to be closer, go ahead and multiply by pi, and you will be correct. 
but you can estimate um, to check to see if you're close by multiplying by three in your head, and then you can multiply with a calculator to see what it is exactly, and then you can know if you make a calculator error, it should be close to that, and if it's not, then you maybe type the wrong button. So that's just some practice on perimeter, some questions you might see on the ASVAB test.